You're watching Pascal in the Morning. Welcome back. been great. My week's been real good. Did a comedy show last week. It was amazing. We killed it. Yeah, the comedy show. Yeah. Where we're at? What was it? Whole shots over in North County, like uh, Patterson and Weehop. Oh, okay. So yeah, had um, a few comedians out. Diverse, um, uh, Frank L. Oh, so Diverse was there? Oh man. Shout out a, to Diverse. It was What's amazing. Up, man? It was amazing. Shout out to Diverse. Yeah. Right. So it was great. Great. That's dope, man. When's your next show anyway? Next show, Funny First Mondays, the Laugh Lounge, Jesse Taylor spot. Okay. So. Next month. So next time I should get an invite, right? I, I think about it. Yo, uh, yo I, think about I, I it? I think about it. Wow, that, that's, that, that hurts. That hurts. <laughs> I can't even sit and watch him yo. do his thing live. You know what I mean? Oh, what a shame. But hey, what's up, man? Good to see you, man. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. And of course, you know, behind the cameras and all that, doing his thing, our things I, fi things I find dope guy, our man, Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph, what's up, my dude? What's up? What's yeah. up? How's yeah, it going? Yeah, man. Say hi to the camera, because they're always seeing up your nose. They they're don't always seeing up my nose? You. They don't like that? On. OK. What's up, guys? How's it going? <laughs> and of course, Sess, right over there. What's up, hey. man? Hey! Gang, gang. Oh, that you dab like, on them. Dab that? on them fools, yeah. man. <laughs> oh, man. But hey, you know, it's been a couple days since we've been out. But of course, you know, we're, we've been, uh, it's been a little crazy over here. Our weeks have been a little nutty since we're starting to march into the summer and all that. So we're going to be doing our shows, but they might not be as tremendously often as usual. But we're going to get right into it here, guys. So y'all heard about this volcano eruption in Hawaii, right? Do you hear about this? What's that? Hawaii? No, this uh, actually, volcano, I, I, volcano eruption in Hawaii? They got volcanoes in Hawaii? They got volcanoes in Hawaii. Oh, okay. So yes, the, uh, the yeah. Mount Kilauea. Oh, there you go. Sounds more like Kilauea. It's been about a week since it erupted. Now it has two new cracks brimming with lava. That's better. Newly released government video showed just how active these volcanic fissures remain almost a week after the first eruption. This view inside the volcano shows the bubbling lava lake, which is draining downhill into underground rivers of molten rock. There's still a lot of magma that could be moving down the rift zone. So this isn't over. Now, what is really crazy is that uh, now they're talking about residents should cover, should go and take cover because apparently they could face earthquakes and also acid rain. Mm. You believe that? Acid rain? Acid rain. And no, I'm not talking about R. Kelly's STD ridden piss. <laughs> I'm really talking about acid rain, guys. So, of course, we hope everybody out there takes cover and all that. All you 60 year old girls. <laughs> run for cover as well. But uh, man, speaking of eruptions, guys, DJ Khaled is in trouble for an interview that he had on The Breakfast Club a couple years back. And uh, it, it, what's funny is kind of hard. It's a really tough one to talk about live on the air. Um, it's, it's the type of thing that kind of rolls off the tongue. Uh, what's a better word for it? How do you find a word that sounds kind of like it? Uh, Condoleezza Rice? Does that work? Uh, sure. The OG from the South. Nah, Come nah, on, listen. Man. I just, there's certain things I just don't do. You know what I'm saying? I believe, <laughs> I believe, you gotta understand, I believe a woman should um, praise the man, you know, the king. You know, if you if you holding it down for the, for your woman, I feel like the woman should praise, and, and the man should praise the queen. But, you know, my way of praising is called how was dinner? Um, you like the house you living in? You like all them clothes you getting? 
I'm taking care of your family. I'm taking care of my family. You know, putting in. DJ Khaled. More like DJ Can't Head, right? <laughs> and what's funny is that he's infatuated with flowers. So beautiful. These are so beautiful. Man, my brother. Instead of honoring your flower beds, you should be honoring the flower in your bed. Get it? It's time to give back, my brother. So I decided we created a new training program just for you. It's called DJ Khaled Operation Head Game. And all you have to do is show up. There's plenty of clothes, there's gonna be a roof over your head, and trust me, there's plenty to eat down there. Anyway, it is time for things I find dope. And of course, in things I find dope, you know how we do. We always give it to Wreck It Ralph, so Ralph, wreck it. Well, I mean, this is kind of, uh, I don't know, I think this is funny. Uh, maybe you guys will find it funny too. I mean, it's 2018, we, we think we're a pretty advanced society. We got a lot of technology and stuff. But I saw this the other day that France, uh, whenever the first Star Wars movie came out, what, 70s? You would know this, right? Oh, of course, I would know this, right. Well, you're, yeah. you're, you're a movie guy. So. Yeah, I am. Okay, so <laughs> in the 70s, movie. like, France was still executing people with guillotines. I saw an article about Wait, this. Wait, in the 70s? In the 70s. Dang. Still in the 70s? In the 70s. When it's, Whoa. It was t the, the article was pretty much titled, like, France, not advanced as you thought it was. Wow. I think it was by, uh, I forget who, I think it was Vice was with the article. So, so up until out. about the 70s, France was just savage as hell. Oh, it's still savage. It's yeah. still savage. Yeah, which I thought was hilarious. Just oh, imagining, well, like, the French Revolution and all that stuff right. still happening wow. in the 70s. Yeah. That is nuts. So that's just something funny I saw. Oh, yeah. That's that's not funny. That's that's really messed up. It's that's morbid. Really messed up. It's morbid, but I thought it was the like 70s? interesting. The 70s for real? Yeah. The 70s. Look it up. Yeah. I'm going to look it up for okay. real. That's that is insane. Anything else with uh, the, anything else interesting? Well, I guess uh since we're in 2018, uh we've actually answered the age-old question of how many licks does it take to get the, to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Ooh. DJ Khaled, oh. do you know that answer? I'm just can curious. I, can anybody guess? Anybody <laughs> guess? Lil' Kim does. Um, let, me get, let me get 900. You know that? 900? Let me get 900. You're way off, but good try. Uh, Give me, let me get one. One. One lick? One. One lick. It's like, well, this is like a price right. One. I'm going to start with one. I'm going to go one. Okay. I, I okay. am quite curious. How many? Uh, we're 142.18. Science. What? Yeah. Science. Science. Wait, how is it? How, how do you measure... 0.18 of a lick. I'm just curious. How do you so, like? I don't, I don't know. I don't know the scientific process or what unit of measurement like they quantified a lick as. But I mean, lick as. Check, check, check ah. the. Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. Well, let's see another one. Another one that Callum wouldn't know. Yeah. He wouldn't know anything <laughs> about that. Not a dang thing about so, that. So yeah, it's on the New York Times. Go check it out. Yeah, go check it out. It's uh, 142.18. Licks DJ Khaled to get to the <laughs> I'm this. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Bang, Khaled, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You know, I love I love DJ Khaled. I love his music. Just uh, honor that flower in your bed, my brother. But anyway, we got a great show for you guys today. We have hip hop artist Lil Cell in the house. Make some noise for that. We also have promoter, man, he does a lot of different things. We're going to talk about him, talk to him. He also has two different names. It's kind of crazy. Clark Wilson is in the house, man. It's going to be a lot of fun, so stick around. Oh, by the way, before we go, if you're enjoying this show, please click that like button. Definitely go and share this, this video. If you're watching this on Facebook, definitely go to the Facebook page.com forward slash the Pascal Show and click that like button because you know what? We're always here, and we're always here to, uh, you never know what's going to come out of my mouth. So tune in sometimes, guys. Anyway, we'll be right back with Lil Cell. We'll see you guys in a bit. Deuces!
You're watching Pascal in the Morning. Welcome back. Oh, sorry, tonight. I can't make this interview boring because this no, man is boring. too exciting as a host. And I'm truly saying this, and if y'all can't do this, me and this man here is going to leave and go somewhere else where we can get some love. I want everyone in the building to say, I love Pascal on the count of three. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Wow. The Fur and Leather Center, providing the highest of fur and leather goods. IDEX Media does a lot. From IDEX Photography, to IDEX Films. We help create forever memories and forever impressions. Imagination. Image a world. IDEX Media. Awesome sauce. Yeah, baby. Nowhere will you find more selection, greater style, or a more colorful collection of the finest meat, chinchilla, fox, and sable coats, jackets, wraps, and accessories than the Fur Center. Now until January 7th, save up to 80% off. Stop in today for the best selection. In the morning. Welcome back. Little sell, everybody. <laughs> What's up, man? How you, doing? How, you doing? How you doing, my brother? Doing good, man. Good, man. Have a seat. Have a seat. Man, so. <laughs> What's been good, man? What's been popping? Man, I've been doing good. I've just been out networking and doing what, I got, what I'm doing best with my music. You know? Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, uh, so tell me, like, on a roll, this whole yeah. thing. I know it's been getting a lot of buzz. Yeah. So. What was the genesis? What was the idea? How did it get all started? I will, on the road. It all started. I had the song over a year. So I just never wanted to record anything. So it just one of the days I was just at home laying down. So I just thought about it like just going through my notes and seeing everything I got. So I just said, I can say I got this song, let me see it, but let me just start see if I can find a beat. So what I did, I went on YouTube and tried to find a beat. I couldn't right. find no beat. So then I just was like, okay, I can't find a beat. So I hit up a engineer and asked him, okay, I need this beat made. Could you do this beat for me? Mm -hmm. He was like, yeah, I can. Then you just tell me everything when you do it. I was like, okay, cool. So then how I went about it, I went to, he um, called me and he was like, can you meet me at a um, hotel that I got? I'm like, that's cool, I'll meet you there. So I went there, then just started making the beat. Then that's how it all went by. I, mean, I just started oh. recording it. So how, how recent, like when was, when did you make that track? I made the track, um, Two months ago. So two months ago? Yeah, I made this when I made it. 
and it just it. got dropped when? Oh, one week ago. A week ago. Yeah. And it's actually, you know, it's starting to get yeah. some pull. You know, yeah. people are starting to really watch it, and it's obviously it's a very positive track. Yeah, it's a it positive is. thing. You know what I mean? Um, we actually do have the video, so mm -hmm. uh, or a little snippet of the video. So here's a little bit of Honor Roll by a little cell. Check mm -hmm. it out. Uh, yeah, man. On a roll. Yeah. It is officially out on YouTube and all that. So, so tell me, what, what's, the, what's the next move? Are you going to be doing another one like it? Um, this next song I got, um, this next project I got working on, working on, it's called Cancel Fighter. You know, I'm just trying to branch out and do things that people are not doing, you know? Right. And we're like, without, like, the way I'm going in this direction, it's called Cancel Fighter for, like, I'm making it for kids who have cancer, who fighting cancer right now, who are in the so. hospital and can't do I can't go out and have fun like they want, like they right. want to, you know. So like that's the next up thing that I got coming. That's yeah. what's up. Think about uh, attaching it to some sort of foundation or something yeah. too, man. Uh, with that, like, good. Yeah, with that, um, a hospital just reached out to me here in St. Louis, so it's like. That's what's up? Everything going on. Wait, already. what? What hospital? Corner Glen. Okay. The, yeah, oh, good. To, yeah, good. So that's one of the big hospitals that just reached out to me, um, yesterday and told me they're gonna give me a call today and let me know, come perform and talk. I mean, just yeah. get the carriage words and everything to the kids. So that's dope. I gotta ask you though. Real talk, were you a good student in high school? <laughs> I mean, in high school, I mean. Let's keep it real. I mean, I'm keep it real. Like, I, I really was. You were. I was. Okay. No, no, that's fine. Yeah, but, but yeah. then, like, over the, but over, the, but over the time, but over the time, I started realizing, like, okay, I got to straighten up somehow. Like, right. I've been through so much, you know? In my past, I've been through so much. So it's like, now it's like, I'm, I'm a dad, too, you know? I have a four-year-old daughter and a one-year-old son, so. I'm just, trying to, I'm just trying to, like, now it's like I'm doing, I'm going in the right direction. I'm not going back like how I was, you know, so, I mean, everything, it's a process, though. Right, you know? so. right, you know, you, you're trying to instill the things that you learned growing up yeah. into your children so they don't take the same path Correct. that you did, Correct. you know what I mean? That's not knowing, I don't know what your path was, right. but I mean, yeah. you know, it's so. like, hey, get some good grades and, yeah. uh, you know, stay out of trouble, right. that kind Correct. of thing. That's what's up, man. So, where can they find, where can people find your stuff, all that stuff, all that stuff? I can find me on YouTube um, at Lucell, L U H C E L L. You can find me on Instagram at Lucell, L U H C E L L. That's all together. You can find me on Facebook at Cell Cannon, Cell C E L L Cannon, C A N N O N. That's where you can right. find me on. So. There you go. Right. Hey, man. Uh, so be sure to check out his latest video, Honor Roll, on YouTube. Check mm -hmm. it out. It is really positive. It's a great thing, and I'm sure he's going to be coming out with some more amazing, positive things. So yeah. once again, a little sell, everybody. All right, thank you, thank you. When we come back, we'll be sitting down with Clark Wilson. So see you guys in a minute. Deuces. You go for four I'm sorry, I can't make this interview boring because this no, man is too exciting as a host. And I'm truly saying this, and if y'all can't do this, me and this man here is going to leave and go somewhere else where we can get some love. I want everyone in the building to say, I love Pascal on the count of three. One, two, three. Wow. The Fur and Leather Center providing the highest of fur and leather goods. IDEX Media does a lot. From IDEX Photography, to IDEX Films. We help create forever memories and forever impressions. Imagination, image a world. IDEX Media. Awesome sauce. Yeah, baby. Mm. Well, well.
Nowhere will you find more selection, greater style, or a more colorful collection of the finest mink, chinchilla, fox, and sable coats, jackets, wraps, and accessories than the Fur Center. Now until January 7th, save up to 80% off. Stop in today for the best selection. You're watching Pascal in the Morning. Welcome back. Hey, yeah! Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Once again, the Pascal Show, a.k.a. the Pascal in the Morning Show. If you're watching this on YouTube, please go hit that subscribe button, that notification button, just so you know whenever we go live. It, it is a little sporadic right now, but, of course, we're working out the kinks as we go. Okay, my next guest, amazing guy. He's got two different names, it's confusing. We're gonna talk <laughs> about it. He's a promoter. He owns a company called the Clark Wilson Entertainment. Give it up for my brother, Calvin slash Clark Wilson. <laughs> What's up, my man? What's up, man? How you doing, bro? Man, I'm good. I'm, I'm good, good too, man. Please. Thanks for having me. Hey, anytime, anytime, anytime. So, so tell me, uh, First off, let's just get straight to the point. Why is your name Calvin, but then your company's called Clark, and then you call yourself Clark? Well, Cl but, so you have two different names, so explain this two different name thing. Well, you know, it's kind of like a rebranded thing. Clark is my middle name, and my okay. wife and I was brainstorming when we decided to do this entertainment company. Yeah. And, you know, we were throwing all kind of stuff up against the wall. She said, she said, honey, why don't you just go with your middle name, Clark Wilson? Right. And then the light bulbs went out, I was like, Clark Wilson Entertainment. Right. And so now I'm trying to, I introduce myself as Clark. I see that. It's Clark Wilson. That. But then, you know, I saw on your thing, I'm like, wait a second. Calvin. And then Facebook, I'm like, wait, wait a second. You know what I mean? So then I'm like, maybe he gave me his assistants. You know, well, you know, I, I really, I have. Maybe this is his son's business card. Like, I didn't know. So I, I have I three like, names, man. So my close friends call me Cal. Oh, okay. My business friends call me Clark. And my family call me Cal. Oh, okay. <laughs> But so this is this. Okay. Well, that's fine. No, that's fine. Because you're, you're rebranding, right? Rebranding. You're letting people Clark know. Wilson. Yep. It's Clark Wilson. It's Clark Wilson, everybody. Clark Wilson gets you in the door. Clark Wilson. You know, Clark Wilson is like, let's see who he is. You know, it's right, right. mysterious. It's not What's a common, on? you know. What's going on? <laughs> right. And Calvin's still mysterious, too. Yeah. You don't hear a lot of Calvins in the world. It's not a lot of Calvin. It's Calvin and Hobbes. Clark. That's about it, you know what I'm saying? So Clark, Clark got a got. certain ring to it. <laughs> so, so tell me about the, the Clark Wilson Entertainment Company. That hey, you got. it started a couple years ago when a best friend of mine, Sean Holland, had a band. And I've been a manager all my life, asked me to, run, yeah. asked me to manage his band. And I was like, I don't know nothing about managing a band. He said, do what you do with people. So I started managing his band before you know it. Other people started asking me to manage them. Uh, we were the house band at this place downtown next to Marizio is called the Voce. Oh, uh, okay. Me and the owner became friends, and after we stopped being a band, I started managing the music venue for them. Nice. And so it, then it evol evolved into what we're doing today. Yeah, so uh, what are you doing now? It evolved <clears throat> into what now? It evolved into doing concerts. Uh, we have a, a, a marketing department, artist development. I have a, a record label that we recent, recently launched called Scoba Records. And we only have one artist signed to us right now who's with us today, Tono, uh, who's a, a hip-hop artist. And then, uh, and so we do music, we do concerts, and we do tribute shows. So we do local and national acts. Right. So I understand that you have a couple national acts that are coming up fairly soon, right? Absolutely. We have Ashanti uh, at the pageant June Ooh. 23rd. Ashanti. Ashanti, the beautiful, yeah. gorgeous Grammy Award winning Ashanti. I actually went to see her concert um, in Chicago. In February, and I knew right then we had to get her to St. Louis. You bring it in. You got somebody, uh, yeah. coming in with some of the some So of yeah, the this, is, uh, this is Ashanti. And this is a Prince tribute that we're actually doing at the Voce. Oh, nice. You know, so, uh, and, and that's, that's the day after Ashanti. So Ashanti Saturday, Prince Sunday. Okay, <laughs> you know? nice. I like that. I like Prince that. Prince tribute. That should be fun. Yeah, yeah. that should be fun. So, um, so tell me, uh, <coughs> after... 
Shanti, do you have anything, any other ones coming up uh, aside from the, uh, yeah, the we, Prince tribute show? We do. We're going after a couple of uh, national acts. I can't announce it here. You know, you have to be careful when you tell people what you're doing. Yeah, that's true. Because they might beat you to the punch. No, I understand that. <laughs> no, we I understand that. We can't sure. say, but I promise you, St. Louis, wherever you're at, you're going to like it. Okay. It's, it's, it's going to be it's going to be huge for us anyway. And so, you know, I, I have to give credit to my, my stepson, Austin Randolph, or Ade Swag. He came to me up. Uh, about six or eight months ago, he said, you know what, Dad, we should do concerts. And so we did Jack Keys back in February. And so oh, now at we're at the pageant. Nice. And so, you know, we're looking to do some stuff here in St. Louis and then spread out around the country as well. That's what's up. Now, I understand that, you know, being, you know, putting something together like a concert, things like that can be kind of tough, right? It could be yeah. a lot of work, a lot yeah. of sweat equity to just get that person on the stage, right? And then yeah. you can actually breathe because they actually showed up and you're like, yes, they showed up. But I have to ask you, is there any particular artist that you've ever had to work with that you'll never work with again? You know, I haven't had that experience yet. We're, we're, we're new right. uh, to, you maybe, know. This, maybe not say yet, right? Not, not yet. I just I've, haven't had that experience. I've had a couple of local artists that I wouldn't, you know. Right, right. <laughs> it's like, okay, you know, and so, uh, you know, we're very generous. You know, it's all about advancing the culture and giving people uh, uh, some entertainment, something to do, and giving them choices. And so, you know, we're, we're really laid back in our company, you know, and so we don't cause a lot of ruckus or anything. And so right. I, I'm the kind of person I can get low on anybody. So, so no know? crazy, like no crazy requests, anything weird like that, like just uh, green M&Ms or something like that. I need a, you know, well, yeah, a 10-foot bong in the corner, like no, nothing crazy yeah. like that? Well, you, you, get, you get requests, man. I mean, some of the things they want, you know, and so, you know, you just, you just provide them for them. You know, and, and, and people, you know, they're stores, and so you want right. to treat them like a store. And so whatever they ask for, they, they get. You know, whatever, Shanti, whatever you want, you got. Okay. <laughs> you <know? laughs> whatever you want, Shanti. Whatever you, you want is yours, you know, and so, and, you know, and, and she's going to do a great show. You really want to come out and see it. I saw the show, like I said, in February. It's an amazing show. Man. Right, right. It's going to be, it's, it's gonna, sounds like it's going to be great. It's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. It's going to be probably well, it's one Shanti, of the, so it's, yeah. it's going to be hot. It's going to be one of the hottest <laughs> concerts. <laughs> Let's keep it real. It's going to yeah. be a Shanti, so it's, of course it's going to be hot. Um, so that's really good, man. I mean, that's yeah. dope. That's dope. And then obviously you got a couple of tricks up your sleeve, so you don't want to say anything. You don't want to disclose them on the show. That's fine, but you can't give us like a tiny hint. Just I, a tiny I, hint. I, I, I can tell you we're going to do something. Some, we're going to do some comedy, you know. Um, and you know we, you know people love throwbacks. They love that '90s, '80s. 2000 music, and there's a couple of artists that's coming back out now that we love to bring to St. Louis. We love to be a part of that, and so. Okay. You know. I'll take that. Something along the lines between 90s, 80s, uh, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Yeah. It might be comedy. It might be music. It's very specific what he just said. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, definitely keep an eye out for him. Where can they find your stuff, by the way? Well, you know, you can follow me on Instagram at Clark Wilson ENT. Clark Wilson. Um, Not Calvin. Clark. And you can follow our Facebook page at Clark Wilson Facebook page and also ClarkWilsonEntertainment.com. And that's where you'll find everything, uh, previous shows, upcoming shows, um, you know, things about Tono, which you got to have on the show, man. He has an album out called Salah Salon that's a couple of years old. There's a, a hit song on a call, I'm Not Perfect. And we're actually working on uh, uh, the Trump tapes. I'm sorry. What, what was that? Yeah, that's right. Uh, what is this? Uh, you know, one of my business partners, actually my, my vice president of the company, uh, Chop Shop All In, Barber Shop and Call Watch. Oh, okay. That, the, a part of our uh, team. Oh, okay. That's yep. what's up. That's yep. what's up. Well, I'll definitely have to check this out. Chop Shop All In. Chop Shop. That's all In. Called. Operation Head Game. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, everybody give it up for Clark Wilson, everybody. Be sure to check his stuff out at Clark Wilson Entertainment. He's got a bunch of stuff. Obviously, he's got Tono and a lot of other laundry list of things coming up. Like I said, 80s through the 2000s. It might be comedy. It might be music. Very specific. It's coming. <laughs> Bullseye. <But> anyway, <laughs> uh, well, thank you again, my brother. Thank, well, thank you for you, being man. here. Thank you, man. Really appreciate Clark Wilson, it. Clark Wilson, one more so time. Good to meet you. And uh, stick around. We'll be right back. Deuces. Deuces.
Israel performed I'm sorry, tonight. I can't make this interview boring because this no, man is too exciting as a host. And I'm truly saying this, and if y'all can't do this, me and this man here is going to leave and go somewhere else where we can get some love. I want everyone in the building to say, I love Pascal on the count of three. One, two, three. Wow. The Fur and Leather Center, providing the highest of fur and leather goods. IDEX Media does a lot. From IDEX Photography to IDEX Films. We help create forever memories and forever impressions. Image a nation. Image a world. IDEX Media. Awesome sauce. Yeah, baby. Nowhere will you find more selection, greater style, or a more colorful collection of the finest meat, chinchilla, fox, and sable coats, jackets, wraps, and accessories than the Fur Center. Now until January 7th, save up to 80% off. Stop in today for the best selection. In the morning. Welcome back. Hey, welcome back, welcome back. Let me make sure I'm in the center of the screen. Yes, I am. What's up? Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this show. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please keep the comments rolling. We also do have some comments that I think uh, my boy Smoogie is about to, you know, lay it down for us. So, Smoogie! Yes, yes, yes. First off, I want to say big shout out to Julie Lewis. She's always in every single day, always making comments, always saying what's up to the morning show. So we appreciate you checking in. Uh, real quick, one comment that we did have was from, uh, we got uh, it's a, lot, a lot of comments. Take your on. time. We're, it's not like we're on live TV. <laughs> <laughs> we got you, baby. Demonte Braggs, he said he knew how many licks it took to get to the center, but Tootsie Pop, 364, as we know, that was wrong. Hella wrong. I, I wanted to do like that more thing. I was like, that was a lie. <laughs> that was wrong. Hella wrong. Uh, uh, also, we had a lot, a lot, of, a lot of comments about Lil Cell's video, man. It was a dope video, real yeah. positive. One more time for Lil Cell. So, One more time. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people chimed in, said how they liked the video, how I was pushing the grades. I will say, I was an honor roll student as a senior. All the other grades, I, I didn't make it. The senior, that's what I realized. I realized that as a senior, I can do this. So. You put in work. Yeah. You put in work at the very last minute. You know what I'm saying? At the very end, I, I poked my chest out and ran. Like, yeah. Across that finish line. That's what I did. Yes, so. yes. OK. Yeah, so that was pretty much it. Like I said, a lot of comments about Lil okay. Seth's video, man. It was, oh, it was hype. It was nice. It was dope. We love it. We're going to support that. Be looking out oh, for yeah. it and keep supporting that positivity that my man's pushing. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Lil Seth. Yeah, one more time. And also, you know, we'll make sure we put the, uh, the link to the video down below in the comments section. Of course, once this show is over, man, I've been really, I really appreciate you guys watching, tuning I'm gonna see in, and all that. Sorry. That's uh, that's yeah, we, uh, we, we, are all, we all got Ashanti on the brain right now, so <laughs> we are very excited about uh, possibly going and seeing her live on sometime soon. <laughs> no pressure. I said it live on the show. See how that works? See how that works, guys? Anyway, uh, it's time to get going. It was really fun today, guys. I love you guys. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Much love to you guys. Peace! <laughs>
is going to leave and go somewhere else where we can get some love. I want everyone in the building to say, I love Pascal on the count of three. <laughs> One, two, three. Wow. The Fur and Leather Center, providing the highest of fur and leather goods. IDEX Media does a lot. From IDEX Photography to IDEX Films. We help create forever memories and forever impressions. Image a nation. Image a world. IDEX Media. Awesome sauce. Yeah, baby. Nowhere will you find more selection, greater style, or a more colorful collection of the finest mink, chinchilla, fox, and sable coats, jackets, wraps, and accessories than the Fur Center. Now until January 7th, save up to 80% off. Stop in today for the best selection.